In this demo, we will link our app to a MySQL database in the backend. And Spring Boot makes it so simple. We will add a few properties in our application.properties file, add a dependency for MySQL in our POM file, and Spring Boot will auto-configure everything and will have a data source for us. We will configure connection pooling using Hikari CP and also have started SQLs for us to insert some initial data in our tables. All right, so let's get to it. Let me go to the application.properties file and specify the MySQL properties. Using spring.datasource.driver-class name, specify the MySQL driver, specify the spring.datasource.url as gdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost 3306 slash the demo database question mark and specify the server time zone as UTC. Finally, let me specify the username and password. Now we can create the table on our own and insert initial data in it if we need to. That would be the approach I would take for a production database. But for our demo purposes, we can have Spring Boot create the table for us and optionally we can also provide a script for it to insert data in the table for us. So let me add spring.jpa.hibernate.ddl-auto and give it a value create-drop where it will create the tables upon startup and drop the tables when the session factory is closed explicitly, typically when the application is stopped. To aid in seeing what's going on, let us also add a few more properties. So spring.jpa.show-sql equal to true will show the SQLs being executed by Hibernate. Spring.jpa.properties.hibernate.format underscore SQL equal to true will format the SQL for us and logging.level dot org dot hibernate dot type equal to trace will turn on the logging for hibernate type to trace. Spring Boot 2 uses Hikari CPU for connection pooling. Let me paste a few properties to configure connection pooling like the maximum pool size, idle timeout, etc. Now to insert some initial data, let us create a file under source main resources and name it as import.sql. When Spring Boot sees a file with this name and if the spring.jpa.hibernate dot ddl hyphen auto is set to create or create drop, it will create the tables and also execute this file. Inside this file, I have a couple of simple inserts to our table. Finally, let us go to the POM file and let me paste in the dependency for MySQL. Then right click the project, choose Maven, and then update project. Now, let's start our project. From the console, you can see Hibernate outputs, drop table if it exists, and then the table creates statement based on the backend database and then it runs our script and inserts the data. Now to prove things worked fine, let us verify the data got inserted in the MySQL database. Here I have MySQL running. Let me log in as dev user, use the demo database and then issue the query select star from items. And here we see our two rows inserted. So great, our app was able to wire itself up with the MySQL database and insert data into it. Now. Let's move on to creating REST endpoints for our app. 